morning. Hi. I think I've been up for about maybe an hour at this point. I'm just taking it really slowly. And now I'm making some breakfast if you're interested. It's going to be sweet potato pancakes. So I'm blending sweet potatoes with an egg. Maybe a bit of flour. I don't know. I'm going to add some toffee flavour. Protein powder. Might be nice, might be horrible. Isn't it amazing that I can blend so early in the morning without fear of waking anyone else in the house up? For all I know, it could be waking up neighbours in the apartment across the street. It's that noisy. It is that noisy. Just melting down some blueberries as well because I'm going to have to get used to buying frozen blues instead of fresh ones. Saving money everywhere I go, my friends. I literally took some almond butter across the country with me. I could have bought some here, but I'm not gonna leave it by itself. It'd be so lonely. This one isn't actually the best one. My standards have increased dramatically ever since trying like a proper runny almond butter. I'm a snob. Okay, but why is that shadow kind of arty? What I'm trying to say is, I love it. It's gorgeous. Mm -hmm. Ta-da! Should we just check how fluffy? Oh, already, I can tell. Yes, ma'am. Before I can even think about getting stuff done today, I've got to have my pancakes. Mm, I'm getting the toffee. It's interesting. I like it. Okay, pretty good. Okay, so my plan for today, I actually wrote a list last night on what I wanted to do. Because by the way, have I entered the video? No, I haven't. I just got straight into eating. This is my first day living alone in my new flat. Oh my God, who is she? But there is a few maintenance issues that I need to sort of do. Well, actually, I've ordered a lot on Amazon Prime. I spent a disgusting amount of money on a toaster, a kettle and a microwave you can guess in the comments i apparently i just don't know how much it costs to live because i had no idea a microwave would be so expensive but other than that i need to go get an aerial no not an aerial yeah an aerial cable i also need to go and get a bin an ice cube tray just bits and bobs that i don't have but before i go i need to wait around so i can buzz in the delivery men for the goods that i've ordered i don't know when they're coming and on top of that i need to go and get a product for a campaign that I'm shooting. And I think that's it. I still don't have broadband, so I'm just using all the data on my phone. And I'm gonna tether it to my laptop. See if I can make that last, and if I can't, then that's the end of me. That will be the end of me. I'll find cafes and stuff. This is the table that I'm eating all my meals at. I say all my meals, I had lunch and dinner and breakfast here. It's felt like I've been on holiday. I can't describe it, like an Airbnb situation. And I'm slowly but surely filling out these i kind of like the sparse look i'm not gonna lie oh do you know what reminder i love having things on display because then i remember to take them so i just take these after my meals and the biggest difference has been made in my skin also masks mask up mask up i'm gonna tidy the kitchen because i don't want to become a slob okay I don't know if I mentioned my lack of bin. Probably did. Because I mean, currently I've just got old tea bags lying around. So yeah, if I go to like a hardware place. Hardware? Help me. When I woke up this morning, um, obviously it's my first morning here, I don't know if I've mentioned. I didn't know where the sun would be rising and I saw a glimpse of it through my curtains in the bedroom and I thought, no way, surely not. Surely I don't get the sun when I wake up. I actually can't believe it. I think it faces southeast. You know, because that would make sense, because I still get a little bit in the afternoon. So yeah, I mean, again, the sun is not out, but when it was, it cast onto my bed, and I thought, surely not. Oh, there it is, there it is. I will stop talking about the sun at some point, because I know no one cares about it as much as this. But when a lot of my happiness is dependent on the sun, <laughs> it is a point of interest for me. Because of my lack of data and a TV license, <laughs> I've just been doing a lot of journaling and reading, which is totally fine by me. It gives me more time to concentrate on me, myself. One thing I don't have here is my yoga mat, and these are hard floors, so I can't really do any stretching or yoga practice, which is fine, because I'll just, I'll get it the next week when my mum comes up and she can bring it for me, she can bring it for me. 
so it's not the end of the world. I'll just stretch standing up. Morning. I've decided on making the adult decision to run out the house while I'm expecting deliveries, the flat, not the house, to run out and quickly get some ice because I'm really desperate for an iced matcha and I can't wait. That's pathetic. Is it? I know what I like. I know what I like. <laughs> I didn't get what I wanted. <laughs> so I don't know if I mentioned that I went out to get a TV cable, but Wilco's didn't have any and I wasn't about to trek half an hour to the nearest B&M. Therefore, I just ended up ordering one on Amazon. Amazon is my best friend. This is not even a sponsored video, can you believe it? So instead, I ended up just going to Marks and Spencer's and I paid one pound for ice. Saving money everywhere I go, my friends. But then I did get this ice cream. I'm gonna be working on a campaign with them and I cannot wait to crack into this. In fact, I might do it today just so I can open it. If the sun is still on the balcony, then it is definitely matcha time. You see what I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to do like self-soothing habits that I sort of do at home as well. So it makes me feel really familiar and comfortable with my surroundings. Even though I really don't feel that out of place, I feel quite natural here like it feels normal i did live in manchester for three years when i was at university but again i graduated university in 2018 which oh my god it's so long ago now destination balcony mission matcha this is pretty much everything i wanted not to be dramatic or over the top i tell you what when i get my broadband and i'm able to play music from the alexa and i'm able to have the tv on it's over. Game over. Vibes. Elite. For now, I've got my own thoughts. All my Amazon parcels came at once, which is amazing. I did not expect that. We have the toaster. In fact, why am I showing you the boxes when I could show you the actual appliance? One minute, please. No, that was coming. Okay, so no, my kettle actually still isn't here. Instead, I got towels and toilet paper, but my microwave and toaster is here, which is fine. Better than fine. Oh, oh my god, hi, pretty. Hi, pretty girl. Oh my god, isn't she gorgeous? It's kind of like a retro look. I went for the cream colored. Oh, you can see yourself. Not so heavy. I don't know if it's the permanent home of said toaster, but she looks pretty good. And here we have a swan. I think I've heard of them. In fact, I'm pretty sure I have. Microwave. Are you ready for this? Satisfaction. And again. So this now means I can microwave my sweet potatoes, which is fabulous news. I do need to find out if there's anywhere in the building. Well, there must be. To dispose of rubbish. I should probably join like the Facebook page, the Facebook group. Really embed into the community, you know? Get to know my neighbors. I don't want to. I did my first food shop yesterday, but the problem is because I only have tiny little hands and tiny little arms, then I can't really carry a, a lot of shopping back and I can't drive. You're just a virgin who can't drive. Wow. So I only really got bare minimum produce. I got mushrooms and cherries. I think that was about it. Sorry, I got potatoes and eggs. Other than that, I really didn't. Oh, I got lentils. But yeah, so I think I'm gonna have to start doing like multiple shops a week instead of the one big weekly shop, which is an irritant, but it's an irritant that I'm willing to put up with, you know? Anyway, I'm gonna fry some cauliflower. So one of the things I don't have at the moment is salt. And if you know me, you know I add salt to literally every single thing I eat, which is a problem. It's one of my great passions in life. So at the moment, I'm just adding like a soy sauce stock hybrid. It's very salty. Look at the size of that. Oh, when I said I only bought the essentials, that <laughs> included avocados. In my defense, they were only 59p for this size. I know, this knife is too sharp. So, update, I'm still a top chef. <laughs> Even with very limited supplies in the fridge, you can make something taste nice if you have spices. Cumin and turmeric in particular. I'm letting you know. After this, I have to mm -hmm. shoot some work and then eat the work because it's an ice cream. And if I didn't eat it, then that would be criminal. It's really good, by the way. In a bit. I have a work-related update, so I'm now able to like look at my emails on my laptop and upload YouTube videos. Thank God, because I need to upload one for tomorrow. Because I'm tethering my phone to the laptop, meaning I'm using the data from my phone on my laptop. You probably know what that means, but my little mind is blown. Who knows how long this is gonna last, but 
the sun is out on my shoulder, I'm feeling good, I'm getting a video done. It really is happy days, although the connection is quite slow, so I'm gonna take a couple of hours for the video to upload because it normally takes a while anyway. Hmm, I'll let you know, unless I don't let you know, unless I forget that I filmed this segment and I don't pick it up in any way, because that's also a possibility. Peace. Bro, bro, if you do anything today, you need to go out and get this ice cream. The flavor, my friends, is salted caramel macadamia, and this will improve your life indefinitely. All the ingredients they use are like raw, and they're really high quality, and obviously it's dairy free. So it's cane sugar, rice syrup, macadamia nut, coconut oil, caramelized sugar, almond paste, oh my god, hemp protein powder, hello. They also had a chocolate hazelnut one, but this one sounded better. Macadamia nuts. Sound off in the comments, what's better, hazelnut or macadamia nuts? We know the answer. Obnoxiously yellow lighting can only mean one thing. I'm in the bathroom, so I'm about to have a shower for the first time. Just clarification, first time in the flat. Not first time ever. I've got a decent sized shower, I'm not gonna lie. Which is surprising, like, I've got a bath. I'm so delighted. <laughs> I also got new towels today. They're actually a khaki green colour, but you cannot tell in this light. Let's see how the pressure is. Oh, wrong. Not bad. Okay. Um, that was a nice shower. <laughs> I've just been having an evening editing session, but I don't know if you can hear that. Bloody bells in Notre Dame, what's going on? Can you hear that? It's been going on for about, I want to say 10 minutes. I mean, it's beautiful, sure. It's a mixture of bells and the sound of a train going by, which is pretty frequent. <laughs> City life. It's kind of sweet. Really warm in this apartment. Anyway, I'm going to get back to sitting on my laptop and editing. It's pretty much the only thing I can do right now because I can't watch TV, can't go on the internet. So like yesterday evening, I'll edit, I'll cook, I'll read and I'll sleep. <laughs> Hi there, it's the next day. I did not film an outro, but that is exactly what I did. I cooked some dinner, I ate the dinner, I read, I stretched. I stretched on a rug. Not the comfiest, but I'll make do. And then I went to bed. Hope you enjoyed the video. Peace out, love you, bye. Mwah.